Grand Lake Health Systems welcomes you to this broadcast of high school varsity volleyball. We're here at the hangar where the Knoxville Rangers will take on the Marion local Flyers. Tonight's game is brought to you by the following sponsors. Clope, First National Bank, Keyhole Pizza, Winner's Meats, Sydney Allglaze Audiology, NK Telco, Precision Strip, Carriage Works, Sice Rearman Incorporated, Minster Bank, Pullman Interiors, New Knoxville Supply Company, Cargill, Victory Machine, Hometown Opportunity, Kogi Plumbing and Heating, Wagner's IGA, Securecom, St. Henry Bank, Park National Bank, Kinniger Custom Fabrication, Superior Aluminum, Yerushi Inn, Busher's Market, Finishing Touches, Francis Manufacturing, Point Service Center, Rachel's Cakes, Speedway Lanes, Warmer Construction, The Jewelry Barn, Tom and Jerry's, in Western Ohio Mortgage Corporation, our fine sponsors here at the hangar at Marion Local High School, along with Jeff Henson. I'm Dave Campy. A big MAC battle tonight between the Rangers and the Flyers and the Knoxville Rangers having a great season. Undefeated, 18 and over overall, 8 and 0 in the MAC, number two ranked in Division Four in the state of Ohio. Jeff, they had a signature win over New Bremen. On Tuesday, they clinched the share of the MAC, but there's more things they want to accomplish tonight. Yeah, most definitely. You think that was a huge win, and it was. You beat a very good team, a defending state champion team, a number one team in the state. All that said, you win that battle, and you do clinch a share, so it really had an impact there. But like Coach Ryan or Coach Lagerman said, you've got to celebrate but move on. They've got another big test tonight. It doesn't get any easier with a very good Marion local team in New Knoxville. Another big game. Five of their past six games have been against teams ranked in the top ten. So it's been a lot of quote big games, time after time after time. You just wonder, you know, how long can these girls come to play at a high level all the time? The Marion local Flyers, 18 and three overall. Six and two in the MAC, which puts them in fourth place, Jeff, but a pretty good fourth place team. Yeah, that's an understatement. Don't let that fool you at all. Their three losses are to OG, who's number one in Division Three, Fort Laramie and New Bremen, who are both have one or two or three losses uh, as well. So Marion Local is a very good quality team. A fourth place right now position, the MAC, no disrespect to them. They play in some very good volleyball and they're gonna, they're looking for the upset tonight to try and knock off the undefeated Rangers. New Knoxville 8-0 trying to go for the undefeated season. Also trying to win an outright MAC for their first ever in school history. It'd be it's their fifth MAC title that they've had. So also you talked about the tough games they've had. This is the third game they've had this week because they had Lincoln View on Monday, in addition to the New Bremen on Tuesday. Yeah, very good Lincoln View. You throw in, if you want to throw in Saturday, they played Rushi. So a number of teams, uh, Saturday, Monday, Tuesday, and now Thursday. So it would be a nice night for the Rangers to cap off a, a great season and then and get a break a little bit uh, before tournament starts. And now we live in a great country, and we will pause for the national anthem here on NK Telco Sports.
we're getting ready for our starting lineups here at the hangar. We'll start with New Knoxville. As you see the Sydney Allgoys Audiology. Starting lineups. Avery Henschen, as they step forward. Number six, Melissa Waterman. Honoring the seniors here, Morgan Leffel. Number 11, Gretchen Dwanger. Unfortunately, not able to play tonight. Hey, Coach Meg Reinecke, Madison Lammers, and Jenny Fletterjohn, the staff for New Knoxville. Meg Lagerman in her first year. Head coach in agreement now for the Flyers. So we'll show the, the, the non-starters here as you see the starting lineup for the Flyers. It's not really senior night uh, festivities, but six seniors playing their last home regular season for the Flyers tonight. Now that there's the seniors are the, the two. Corey Sager, Lindsey Tobin number four. Six, Elena Pullman. Seven, Lydia Griesdorn. Eight, Heidi Rethman. Abby Bruns. Hey, coaches, Anthony Chapel in his second year at the helm. Sits about Erica Schultz. So the Flyers in the Rangers. MAC finale. Jeff, let's talk about our keys to the game, brought to you by Keyhole Pizza, first of the Rangers. Well, the Rangers want to get good passing to their setter. That's a good first touch. They want to get good touches on blocks. I know Marion Local has a lot of good attackers. You got to slow down the ball, not necessarily maybe get a termination point, but slow it down and, and get your defense involved and then live in the moment. We talked about what a great season they've had so far, a MAC title, at least a share of it. Could be an undefeated season. You don't get this opportunity much to play at this high level, take advantage of it, and uh, enjoy it. It should be fun, and the Rangers should be very proud of what they've done and continue to play that way. And for the Flyers? They want to win the serving game. They know New Knoxville serves, receives well, so they want to continue to serve aggressively and force them to chase that second touch, if you will. Execute their offense, get the ball in system, and feed those big hitters I talked about. They have a lot of good girls that like to swing and they can hit it hard, and they want to limit NK's attacking, especially out of the middle. So if they can feel like they can get some good blocks on those opportunities, they'll have a, a better chance of stopping New Knoxville's offense. Again, those are your keys to the game, brought to you by Keyhole Pizza. As Ellie Gable will start us off. We are ready to play in this MAC finale here at the hangar. Gable, so Leffel is back on the... Got a break there. Back set to Henschen, dug in the back row by the Flyers. Back set that time to Flutterjohn. That is blocked out of bounds and point for the fly point for the Rangers. Boy, a free ball to start the game by Marion Local's offense. You know, Knoxville really didn't take advantage of it, did their best to keep it alive and get a kill from Haley Flutterjohn on the right front. Heidi Rethman's the main setter. Frank with a hit into the corner. Doug, but nobody got the second one, so point for the Flyers. Good placement by Frank, the sophomore. Averaging just under a kill per set, but nice placement there for the sophomore. Olivia Winter comes in to, for Frank to serve, junior defensive specialist. That one into the net. We are tied at one apiece. As Melissa Waterman back to serve. But check that, Morgan Leffel to serve. Wraparound play to Pullman. Nice dig by Leffel. Carson Henschen from the back row for the kill. For Henschen, she averages just over four kills per set, and a pretty good hitting percentage at 409, and got a good touch there, good set, and a good attack from the back behind the 10-foot line. To Pullman, the middle hitter for the Flyers with a nice kill. Well, Elena Pullman's been a, a star player for them for a number of years, averaging 3.3 kills per set, a very good 372 hitting percentage, and she's a very good blocker as well. Hit in the middle, that's Avery Henschen. That will go wide. 
And we are tied again, this time at three. Good swing there and trying to, again, know the blockers for the Flyers are there, trying to hit around them, just couldn't find territory inbounds. Back set, Fletter, John tries to dink it and hits the antenna. Right idea by Flutter John, but hit the antenna. It's back-to-back -back hitting errors, and Flyers gave their first lead. Kramer with another hard serve dug by Henschen. Waterman with a hit. That'll rattle around in the rafters and fall. Boy, a break for the New Knoxville. I thought Waterman's attack maybe would sail long. Marion made a play, but the, the, low, the low ceiling here Distracted the ball or deflected it, and it falls for a kill for Waterman. Abrahamson back to serve for the Rangers. Tied at four, a third tie already, as Pullman on the right side sails it long. Well, that's a good swing by Pullman, just not getting on top of it. Again, the 372 hitting percentage for Pullman. She doesn't make many mistakes, and I'm sure she'll get some other opportunities before this night is over. Rethman will said Toby, that never made it over. Another point for the Rangers. Well, New Knoxville's defense has been keeping, you know, basically the, the, the blocking there, but back-to-back -back hitting errors for the Flyers give the Rangers a two-point lead. They go to Toby again, and a block by Carson Henson in the middle. Her and Haley Flitterjohn will tag team there, and. Henshin maybe got the contact. Both will get credit for the termination block. And another point here is it is now five points in a row for the Rangers. Aver Henshin to the serving. She did all the serving at the end of the second set against New Bremen when they scored seven, seven points at the end to come from behind. And there's Rethman will go over and two back by Henshin. Rethman to Pullman, a quick set. And another point for the Rangers. Coach Chappell trying to encourage his team right now, not calling a timeout. Down by five on our first National Bank scoreboard. Game of momentum, Dave, you've talked about before. New Knoxville has a nice run here, five straight points. Hit by Toby, dug by Leffel in the rafters, bumped over. Chance for the Flyers. Rathman will go to Pullman on the right side. She puts it away. Pretty good, fast offense there. Tough to defend, but well executed. Nice replay here. Again, everything's bang, bang, bang. And they went quick, and New Knoxville got a touch on it, but just could not keep it in play. Pullman back to serve off the top of the net. Rangers not quite able to save that. It'll be an ace there for Pullman. Pullman, her 61st ace on the season, 61 of them, serving at 87% accuracy. So obviously a lot of aces, as I mentioned, the 61st, but just 80, 87. Not that that's awful, but um, does make some mistakes. Carson Henschen off the blockers for the kill. Her second of set number one. Back will be Haley Fletterjohn, who at one time was a libero and now plays all the way around in this six player rotation. Dug by Leffel. Fletterjohn from the back row. Rethman to Bruns, another block by Henschen. Good timing there, good anticipation. Take another good look at it, one-on-one -on -one now. And they have middles, if you will, right there, able to go up and, and get the termination block. And there's off the top of the net, an ace by Haley Fletterjohn. And Second service ace by the Rangers here in game number one. Rangers have doubled them up, 12 to six, as that one sails out of bounds. Heidi Rethman will rotate to the back row and serve into set out of this 5-1 offense as she's the only setter for the Flyers. Dug by Leffel. Hit over by Gable on three. Rethman all the way over. Toby powers it through the blockers. 5-9 senior gets her first kill of the set. As you said, going through a couple of blockers and Again, good approach, and she brings a lot of power and able to muscle it through the hand. She averages just over two and a half kills per set. Henschen puts it down. Nice save by Rethman. Bruns is blocked. Henschen on the block. Back-to-back -back solo blocks for Henschen here recently. That's her third termination block of set one, averaging on the season just under one block per set. Alyssa Waterman off the top. 
hit by Frank out of bounds. And on our first National Bank scoreboard, New Knoxville with a six point lead. Four hitting errors for the Flyers thus far, plus a serving error, so five errors, just three for New Knoxville. Quick set there to Bruins, and Abby Bruins with a nice kill. Pretty quick off the floor, Dave, and uh, we'll take another look at it here for the 5'9 senior. Again, good pass, good job by Refman to getting that ball back out of the net and just catching the back line there for Bruns. Server cross. That is Leffel will hit it. Rethman, Frank from the left side, dig by Waterman. Wrap around to Henschen for the kill, Carson Henschen. Maybe didn't get it all, but got enough of it. And sometimes those off speed hits, Dave, as we talked before, are just as effective because it throws the timing off there and uh, just gets your defense a little bit on their heels. Carson Henschen to the back row to serve. That means Avery Henschen in the front row now. Quick hit by Bruns and a nice job on the set by Rethman. And a point for the Flyers. Well, I think we talked about it again. Bruns just bang, bang, a quick rhythm offense there. The blocker's not able to get a good touch on it. Bruns here, back-to-back -back kills. It's that one for her. Lydia Griesdorn, as it'll be free ball over by the Rangers. Coleman, Rethman back to Elena for the kill. Again, New Knoxville not able to do much with the first touch, so that gave a free ball opportunity, and Marion Local took advantage of it. Again, they went quick. You see like a low pass, and a quick set, and then Pullman gets on top of it. Battle at the net. Gable recovers it. Not able to get the next one as the Flyers win that battle at the net. Nicole Frank up there battling. I'm not for sure how we'll give her the kill, because she did push it back on the Rangers' side. Flyers within three, the closest they've been for a little while in this set. Gable over to Leffel. Nice hit into the corner. Good hit from the right side by Morgan Leffel. Well, the Rangers needed a stop, and they got one from Leffel on the right front. And a lot of times that's not a strong side, but for Morgan, the past couple seasons as an underclassman, she spent a lot of time hitting now the right front, so no problem for her attacking from there. Ace by Ellie Gable. She Served it short and find, found a spot. Well, for Gable, that's her 34th ace on the season. Gable Jr. was a hitter on this team last year, the leading hitter at 3.4 kills a set. This year, the setter. And Fletter John with a nice hit from the right side. Quick set to Pullman, but not enough above the net. The fifth attack here of the set. Coach. Chapel with the timeout. We'll take one too. You're watching MAC Volleyball on NK Telco Sports. Kemmler Orthopedic Center is focused on a personalized caring approach to treat all aspects of orthopedics, including total joint replacement, shoulder reconstruction, stem cell injections, and more. Dr. James Kemmler and Jed Cooney, certified PA, are dedicated to providing the best orthopedic care in the Grand Lake region. Kemmler Orthopedic Center has offices located in Salina and Van Wert, along with extended evening hours. To schedule an appointment, call our office at 419-586-5760. Welcome back here to Grand Lakes Health presentation of NK Telco Sports. We're in the first set in our first National Bank scoreboard. The Rangers lead by six. Yeah, they've just been playing a little bit cleaner, but I was going to say earlier, it's like I think Marion Local serving has been a little bit aggressive and keeping New Knox a little bit out of rhythm, not getting some quality attacks, but Marion Local has responded with a number of hitting errors, so that's kind of balanced it out a little bit. Nice hit by Frank as she goes down the line to register the kill. For Frank, for Frank, it's her third kill of the set number one. Average is just over one per set, so a nice game for her, just a sophomore. Olivia Winter into the game to serve. Gable to Avery Henschen, and Avery with the kill. Her first kill of the set comes in, averaging just under three kills per contest or per set, and again, good pass from Waterman. Gable able to get a nice up and power through the blockers for the Henschen kill. Seagram senior Morgan Leffel serving for the Rangers. Reagan Kramer, her first attempt, dug by Henschen. All the way over, it's Melissa Waterman with the kill through the blockers. Well, Melissa Waterman doesn't get a lot of swings, Dave, but uh, 
Tell you what, in that Saturday game against Rushi, she collided with Haley Flutterjohn, basically lost her front tooth, played the rest of the match with gauze in her mouth. Never missed maybe a couple points, but uh, came back, played the rest of that night, and went to the dentist that afternoon, got it fixed, and uh, so that, good that, congratulations to her for hanging in there. That's a tough player there, and that's with that's a bigger point with New Knoxville already lost Gretchen Dwanger. That put him down to really just a six-person rotation. And there is an ace there by Reagan Kramer. Dropped. I thought maybe on the flight it was going to sail long as well, but Kramer records the ace. But the six, well, I don't remember a high school team playing a six-person rotation. Of course, it was kind of forced upon them, but they're doing a great job with it. Yeah, right? I don't know. Usually you always have a libero or something, but uh, right now they're... I thought maybe you've heard of the Mudville nine in baseball. Well, we got the Mudville six here because that's really what they play. Kenzie Toby with a kill. There is the Flyers creeping back in within four. Three straight points for the Flyers. Again, pretty aggressive serving. There's another one as Reagan Kramer has been killing it on the serve. Coach Lagerman says that's enough. She will take a timeout. We'll step aside. We'll be back with more volleyball on NK Telco Sports. Clope Building Products, America's favorite garage door, is now hiring for all manufacturing and over-the-road CDLA driving positions. Clope is the largest residential garage door manufacturer in North America, and we are continuing to grow. Join our team and work in a safe, clean, modern environment. Clope offers a great benefits package, is an equal opportunity employer, and a drug-free work environment. Imagine the possibilities when you open the door to your career at clopedoor.com slash careers. Welcome back to Grand Lakes Health presentation of NK Telco Sports. You see Cha Coach Chapel giving instructions to one of his players, and they're creeping in down by three. They've scored four straight. It was a 2013 Ranger lead, now 2017, and the serve has been good for the Flyers here as of late. Avery Henson with a kill. Get a good answer for New Knoxville. They needed a break, and they get one there on the second Avery Henson kill of set number one. Stops the run, leads still at four here in the first set. She goes back to serve. Carson Henshin in the front row. There's Pullman with a wraparound for the kill. Pullman now with five. So again, Flyers needed to get a quick ball back, if you will, not let consecutive serves happen for the Rangers. And they go to their main hitter, Pullman, as she delivers. That's the leading serve as that one goes long. Pullman leads the Flyers in kills, blocks, and aces, but that one, a service error as Haley Fletterjohn will serve for the Rangers. Back set, Toby with a nice hit. Good swing for Toby out of that right front corner. Again, it all started with a good pass, and Rethman able to throw up a nice back set right above her head, and Toby finishes. Rethman serving. Henshin, Gable to Henshin, dug by Rethman. Bunt set by Bruins, Toby with the swing. Gable all the way over to Waterman with the kill. Waterman got her now with three kills, so a, a good opportunity for her taking advantage of it and contributing and cashing in. Coach Chapel with the timeout. That gives us an opportunity to let you know Grand Lakes Health presentation of NK Telco Sports being brought to you by Clopay Building Products, Precision Strip, Carriage Works, Seish Ruderman Incorporated, Minster Bank, Home and Interiors, New Knoxville Supply, Cargill, Victory Machine, Hometown Opportunity, Kogi Plumbing and Heating, Wagner's IGA, Securecom, and St. Henry Bank among our fine sponsors here tonight. Our keys to the game today was brought to you by Keyhole Pizza, our starting lineup sponsored by Sydney Oglays, Audiology, our a replays by Winners Meets, and on our first National Bank scoreboard, the Rangers up by four. Well, after a seven-point lead, the Rangers built 20 to 13. It's kind of been back and forth after Mary Local went on a run to get it to within four, and then it's kind of been back and forth. So a big serve here for Melissa Waterman and for Coach Chapel's team. He needs to get a, a serve back here and get the 20th point on the board for the Flyers. Rathman goes to Toby, dug by Henshin, set to Henshin, off the hit. And the Rangers have set point coming up. Again, spot placement there for Carson Henshin. Maybe didn't hit it that hard, but 
push it to that open corner. And when you're a defender, you've got to make a quick decision and not able to make a good play on the ball with the Flyers. Rathman close to the net, brings it back to Bruns. Gable goes over on two. Nice save by the Flyers. Wrap around, Henshaw will have to just punch it ahead. Bump set, over to Frank, blocked. Now Henshin puts it away for set one. Goes to favor of the Rangers on our first National Bank scoreboard. Rangers 25, Flyers 19. Both teams will go back to the bench. And re Huddle will be back with the second set here on NK Telco Sports. At First National Bank, we are working hard to make your life a little easier. With products like Card Valet, an app allowing you to control your cards with real-time notifications, transaction restrictions, and spending limits. The ability to access your money through 55,000 all-point ATMs across the country, surcharge free. Live customer support when you need it. And online and mobile banking, allowing you to gain access to your financial information wherever and whenever you like. First National Bank, making your life a little easier. Hi, I'm Mallory. My grandpa's been making the world's worst pizza for 30 years. That doesn't look like the world's worst pizza. Grandpa, I know why they call you Chunky Bob. It's because you use chunky ingredients on your pizza. Of course, it's not because I'm fat. Grandpa, this is the world's best pizza. Keyhole Pizza, come check Grandpa out. Dine in or carry out. All Glaze and Sydney Audiology are committed to providing the most advanced and affordable hearing care solutions. Did you know that more and more insurances are offering coverage for hearing needs and that we are the most comprehensive provider in the area? Because we want to serve all in our community, we partner with agencies such as Medicaid, OOD, Sertoma, and most recently the VA, helping our veterans find local solutions to their problems. Don't leave unused benefits on the table this year. Call us today to see if you qualify. Hello, New Bremen. I'm Matt Everidge with NK Telco, and we're here for you for your cable, telephone, and internet services. Hey, Minster. This is Nate Henry with NK Telco, and we're here for you for your existing cable TV, internet, and phone service. Hey, New Knoxville. I am Wesley Meyer at NK Telco. We are here for you and your customer service needs. Hey, Maria Stein. I'm Ken with NK Telco, and we are here for you with hometown pride. Welcome back to set two here as the Rangers on our first National Bank scoreboard win the first set by six. Rangers get that last attack, if you will, by Carson Henshin, her fifth kill of the set to lead the Rangers. They had 12 in the set number one. Elena Pullman recorded five kills as well for, for Marion Local. They actually had one more kill, 13 each. Um, the Knoxville also had three service aces as well as did the Flyers. Maybe the stat that surprises us most, Dave, is the termination blocks. New Knoxville recorded three termination blocks for points. Marion had zero. So, and plus add in a few more hitting errors by the Flyers. Seven total errors in set one compared to just three for New Knoxville. So there's your difference in the ball game. You know, New Knoxville, they get a lot of hands on blocks, but they really don't get a lot of termination blocks. So three in one set's but very yeah. good from that point of view. Well said. You remember we call blocks a lot. You and I have talked. But a block is not a point, if you will, unless it results in a, uh, a point for the, your, the for your team. A lot of times they're called touches or just easier to say block, but uh, it's, a, it's an art. You look at Elena Pullman, she's the league leader near the top at 1.4. That's really good. You're she, above one. That's, yeah. And we are back to first point goes in favor of the Rangers is Morgan Leffel with the kill. Morgan had just the one kill in game one, but now her second of the match, and again, that right front we mentioned, I know we did in the first set, that she's very familiar hitting in that right front corner. They can do it with power. Quick set to Pullman, nice block by the Rangers. Yeah, they anticipated or saw it coming and, and matched it up with her. Back set by Flutterjohn with a nice hit. Haley Flutterjohn hammers it. Well, she timed, her and Avery Henshin timed the slide up, the interior slide with Pullman to start this volley. And then Flutter John, who has very good legs, able to attack out of the right front, just like her teammate Morgan Leffel did for the first point of the game. Frank, left-hander there with a nice swing. Waterman with the hit, blocked back. Gable goes over on two. 
Nice recovery. Kramer is blocked. Good volley going here. Finished by Avery Henschen. Henschen with the kill there. She timed the block and then the overpass kind of volleyed back in her side of the net. She waited for it to break the plane and records New Knoxville's third kill of set number two. 3-0 lead for the Rangers. Frank dug by Gable and a give a kill there to Nicole Frank. Well, that is a much needed side out and point for the Flyers. Frank had three big kills in game one. And again, that left-hander has been hitting it very well here when she's had the opportunity. Olivia Winter into serve that goes into the net. New Knoxville, the number two seed in their tournament there in the Northwest Sixth District. They'll play next Thursday. They'll play the winner of Waynesfield, Goshen, and Arlington. So Back on the flyer side. Kramer with a hit, dug by Leffel. Gable hit by Fletterjohn. Another big hit by Fletterjohn. Nice struck ball again out of the right front by Fletterjohn. Two of them here in set number two. And again, no stranger to hitting it hard. Uh, just hasn't had many chances and getting some confidence here late in the season in that position. Big hit by Pullman. That wraparound play. If you execute that, that's very hard to defend. And Marion executes that about as good as anybody. Yeah, she timed it well. And this time they went traditional wraparound or slide to start the match. We saw her starting the left front and kind of slide into the middle. But New Knoxville timed that one up and got a touch on it. Henson as it falls inside the line for the point. Good answer for New Knoxville. And six points for the board for the Rangers, and four of them have come on. I'm sorry, all five of the six have been on kills for the Rangers, so good job starting set two, attacking for the Rangers. Doug by Griesdorn. Breath, and there's Pullman again. Nice recovery there, but they will call a lift on the Rangers. Second kill of the set. You know, Oxford was able to get a touch on it briefly, but uh, couldn't make a clean play on it. Flyers also a number two seed. They're in a different district than the District 5. As that one goes into the net. They actually decided not to take a bye. They will play on Tuesday against Audeville here at Marion Local and then play number 10 Continental. These two teams are in different districts. If they would happen to both advance, they wouldn't play each other till state. So the MAC game teams are kind of split up as Leffel with a kill. Kind of expand on that further. New Knoxville is with New Bremen and Minster, kind of like the MAC East where Marion was with those three last year. This year, they're with St. Henry and Fort Recovery. Fort Recovery's the number one seed in that one, because there's a hit by Toby. So we are, she's getting a look on our replay brought to you by Winner's Meats. Kenzie Toby, again, both teams have scored well out of the offhand spot. Now, granted, the left-hander from Mary Local, that's her strong spot. But to Toby cashes in with a good approach. Knoxville again at right front this time and Carson Henschen on the slide. They score from there. So they execute the slide play just as well there in a five point lead as Knoxville's trying to go for an outright MAC title in an undefeated regular season. Neither one has happened in school history. Right now they lead by five there and the senior Morgan Leffel with the kill. Well, a good start to this game number two. New Knoxville continues to strike the ball well. And right now, Marion Local just has not come up with any big stops at the net that uh, they're capable of. They just haven't done it yet. New Knoxville's able to get through the blocks or around them. Henshin serve. Dug there by the Flyers. There's Bruns. Finds a spot inside the line for the point. Didn't hit it very hard to Daddy Bruns, but boy, again, they're all big when you're down six, and that one drops to cut the lead to five. Runs her third kill of the of the match. Server crossed by the Flyers. And there's an ace for Kinsey Toby. Mary Local does register a lot of points via the, the serve. They average four aces per set. Now they don't serve as a team real, real good, but uh, they do get some points, if you will, from the serving position. Henshin with a big hit, it goes into the rafters. I don't think it hit anything, and but it'll draw. No, a little miscommunication on who was gonna hit the third one. Yeah, I don't think I can give her a kill for that. Mary Local made the play, made the second touch, and it just kind of fell apart there. Timeout on the floor by the Flyers. 
They trail by five. We'll be back with more volleyball on NK Toco Sports. Together, we are family, working safely for our loved ones. We are problem solvers who challenge the status quo and drive improvement. We care about our customer relationships. We stay true to our values, caring and respecting one another. We embrace change as we journey through our career. We are Precision Strip, the world's leading processor of rolled steel and aluminum. Precision Strip, doing the exceptional. Welcome back to Grand Lathe Health presentation of NK Telco Sports as we see some of the banners here in Marion Local, which is some of the runners up on the opposite side of the gym. They have a lot of their banners. They have five state championship banners in uh, volleyball. They won five of their state championships in seven years. And then, of course, they've had, I think, 11 state football championships. So quite a lot of Success here at Moyer and Local, but right now the success in favor of the Rangers is they're up by five, and there's an ace by usually, Gable. Usually you like your timeouts to be a constructive one, and they had a kind of a miscommunication to give New Knoxville their 11th point, and that one again kind of indecisiveness right now. The Flyers a little bit playing on their heels a little bit, just need to kind of shake it off and get back to Flyer volleyball. Frank with a hit. Dug by Waterman, Henshin from the back row, did not make it. Flyers haven't really got that run going. They fell behind early, had about three or four points here and there, but they really haven't got that run that you usually need to get in volleyball to get that momentum. Yeah, New Knoxville got one, and then it's kind of been that way since, and uh, Mary Local, a lot of time left in this match, so don't get me wrong, they've got time to make plays and come back, but need to get started here and get some confidence. Leffel with the hit, blocked by Pullman, and also Frank. Those are big plays. Those can help get your rhythm back. It's a first termination block for the Flyers here in this match, and they average over two of those per set. So a little odd they didn't get any in game number one. Back set, another hit, another kill from the right side by Morgan Leffel. Morgan having a big game number two. That's her fourth kill of game number two. And that time went through a couple good blockers there, Pullman being one of them. Dug by Eckstein. Over on three, saved by the Rangers. The right side, Flederjohn did a nice angle. job of bumping it. Close to the net, and they will call a lift or a double hit on the Flyers, and a nice hit by Flederjohn there. Boy, there was a nice save by Flederjohn, as you mentioned, the set kind of led her towards the, the pipe, if you will, and Mary Local tried to save it back and couldn't. That goes to the net. Just to expand on that, Flederjohn hit a lot of players just try to hit it hard and try to force the spike and it's a smart play to just hey just get it over and live to play another point and it did you take a chance but boy tough angle for her to capitalize or get it done but she was able to do it that spike goes into the net and Cole Frank will serve again for the Flyers Flyers 18 and 3 they've only lost three games of three very good teams OG is number one in division three Fort Recovery is number six in Division Four, and then of course New Bremen last Thursday in five sets as that one goes wide on the Rangers. When you talk about the run, Dave, the momentum, it's been now 14 to eight, 14 to 11, so three straight. But the service error gives the, the ball back to the Rangers, a break for them. But both the last two times they served, you felt like the momentum was shifting, but. Smack there was a couple points away from really getting it. It's Avery Henshin back to serve with a four point lead. Wrap around her. Good and pick up. Nice hit up right rep on the second one. This one a quick hit to Pullman for the point. Well, Mary Loco took advantage of it. They almost got one on Rethman's attack, but do Knoxville not able to capitalize or take advantage of it. And Pullman with a quick hit. Reagan Kramer to serve. She had really nice serves here in this match tonight. Dug by Leffel to Henschen, blocked back. Close to the net, Pullman puts it away. Got a break there, Rangers touch the ball. It probably would have been out. But a good job by the Flyers. They begin to get a little bit more action at the net this set here in, in recent points and climb back into this contest. They'd been down by five and now trail by just two. 
Kramer dug there by Leffel. Gable chases it down. Flutterjohn will hit it over. Rathman, Coleman, hang time, and it falls. Well, we talk about off-speed attacks and such, and that time it wasn't picture perfect, but the timing was off, but Pullman able to hit it right in the gap of the Ranger defense. Timeout on the floor by the Rangers. We'll be back with more MAC Volleyball on NK Toco Sports. Carriage Works has expanded and now can hold up to 25 cars in our service bay. Carriage Works thrives on customer satisfaction. We accomplish that by providing top-of-the-line technology. Carriage Works now uses a laser beam system to measure down to the millimeter of factory specs to better service you and get you back on the road. Carriage Works has a brand new top-of-the-line paint booth that uses waterborne paint. There's no job too big or too small for Carriage Works. We are certified collision specialists. Come in and see us today. Welcome back to Grand Lake Health's presentation of NK Telco Sports. Flyers have brought it back all the way within one. Within one. Three straight kills for the Mary Local Flyers have helped them in this comeback, and they're one point away from tying this thing up, and they've trailed since the game began. Flutter John, dug by Kramer. Toby blocked, covered by the Flyers. will try Toby again, blocked again. This time for the point for the Rangers. Flutter John and Henschen tag team a couple times. It took the second attempt, if you will, to get the termination block, but good defense there by New Knoxville. And stopping a very good hitter and getting a big point for the Rangers and the ball back. Flutter John serve. They'll go to Pullman, Malena. Slams it down. Number six now with six kills in game number two. And again, she's been much more, you know, those are hard shots. Those are tough to stop. And that one on time, the rhythm was there. That one saved Another wide. service mistake for the Flyers. That's their fourth service error of game two. Melissa well, Waterman back to serve. Two point lead. Rangers have led throughout this set. Close, Pullman, or Henshin with the point. Number three with her third kill of game number two, eight on the night. And a three-point lead for the Rangers. And a good off-speed as that one just dropped for Melissa Waterman. Again, off-speed, change of pace, whatever you want to do. It's something different that, the, in this case, the serve-receive team is not ready for. There's off the top of the net. Back set, hit by Toby. Nice dig by Henschen. Carson Henschen with the hit and a good rotation or spin on that spike for the point. Made it tough to handle. Again, maybe didn't hit it that hard, but got enough of it on her and a, a good run by the Rangers. Five point lead again. This is an opportunity to let you know Grand Lakes Health presentation of NK Toco Sports is being brought to you by Kinniger Custom Fabrication. Superior Aluminum, Rushi Inn, Busher's Market, Finishing touches. Francis Manufacturing, Hoying Service Center, Rachel's Cakes, Speedway Lanes, Boimer Construction, Jewelry Barn, Tom and Jerry's and Western Ohio Mortgage. As you see the shot around first year head coach Meg Reinecke Lagerman. And uh, right now uh, they were it was down by one and they're now they're up by five. Or they're up. They got down. to within one, 15-14. Yes. Mm -hmm. New Knoxville calls timeout, then they come back. The Rangers do get a termination block, then a kill by Marion Local, but then four straight points for the New Knoxville Rangers back up by five with five to go. And you know, it's it's a funny game. Sometimes you just things just go well and everything's working and it looks so easy. Other times you, you can't do the simple things the way you want them to, but still room for the Flyers to uh, come back here. They need to get a stop here and get the ball back on offense. Hit by Bruns. Dug by Fletter John. Henshin from the back row. Bruns with a quick hit. Nice dig by Fletter John. Leffel is blocked and back on the flyer side. Rethman over. Nice save by the Rangers. That one will go into the net. A good battle won by the Flyers. A lot of good defense there by New Knoxville. They picked a lot of stuff up. The Flyers had to, let's say, the foot on the throttle for the most part. And a, a good volley there, a lot of good defensive play by New Knoxville, but the Flyers get what they need, and that's the ball back and the serve. Leffel dug in the back row by the Flyers. That's back on the Rangers' side. Henschen through the blockers, dug by Griesdorn. There's Frank, dug by Waterman. All the way over Leffel, dink it. 
covered there by Rathman. Griesdorm will set Toby, dug by Leffel. Set back to Leffel. For the kill, Morgan Leffel powers it on the left side that time. Well, that time speed wins, or speed kills, if you will. Leffel, number five, with her fifth kill of set number two, and just some good strength and power. And again, Flyers in a net, but the kill will go to Morgan Leffel. Henshin serve across. From the right side, it's Toby, and that hits the net, and that carries it out of bounds. Just the first attack error committed by the Flyers in this game. They have, though, four service errors and two unforced errors. But hitting-wise, they've been very good. Quick set to Bruns. Nice save there by Fletter, John. Leffel off the antenna. Now will go to the Flyers. There's a rare mistake by the Rangers. as They give the ball back on an, an attack error. Then Schwederman leaves. She rotates into the front row as Reagan Kramer into the front now with Kinsey Toby with the serve. Flyers are running out of time here in this second set. Henshin from the back row. Kramer through the blockers. Nice kill by Reagan Kramer. Kramer, her first kill, and again, they've all, they'll have all all be big points now for the Flyers, but that one came at a time when they needed the most. Her first kill of the match for the 5'8 sophomore. Toby with a nice serve of two Rangers, and the lead now cut to three. And a timeout on the floor by the Rangers is... Well, I think Marion Local, Dave, has been serving all night pretty aggressively. And here lately, uh, they've been getting some very aggressive serves, maybe not all for aces, but times where New Knoxville can't get a good first touch and really get great offense started. And um, the first mat, the first set, Marion Local served very well with the three service aces and just two service errors. Now in this game, they do have a couple aces, two of them, but they've also had four service errors. So you have to balance out how aggressive you want to be but overall, I think it's the times they've served it in bounds. It just seems like New Knox was having trouble getting into good offense. And uh, that's the trade-off you have with serving aggressive, because if you serve soft, teams can get in, go right to work, and then you're, then you're defending yourself against a hard attack. So, you know, right now the Flyers, um, a much, a big situation here, Dave. They need to get the point, get to number 20 here, cut the Ranger lead to two and keep the serve. Senior Kinsey Toby, one of six seniors on this team with the serve, dug by Leffel. There's Avery Henschen for the point. Powerful hit by Avery Henschen. Well, that time she was able to get a good strong swing on it, good timing. And uh, for Henschen, her fourth kill of the, of the match, two kills in each set. Ellie Gable, junior setter. Nice dig there by Kramer. Or there's Reagan Kramer actually with the kill there for the point. Well, she gets her second one. She had her first one not too long ago, and this time muscles through a couple blocks, and it just falls just outside of a Ranger defender. Lydia Griesdorn down by three late. Realistically, the Flyers need a few in a row here as Henshin denies that with the kill, and set point coming up here for the Rangers. Well, Henshin was able to get it off the hands of Pullman, and then the deflection again just threw the defender off. Couldn't make a good play. Couldn't get her feet, if you will, reloaded after the deflection. Leffel dug by Eckstein. Quick set to Pullman, and Leno with the kill. Pullman having a nice game number two here, and she's been very much automatic. Her seventh kill of set two. Nicole Frank. Trying to keep the Flyers alive. Another set point for the Rangers. That sails long. And the second set goes to the Rangers on our first National Bank scoreboard, 25-21. You see the Rangers have a two set to zero lead. As they both teams will go to the benches, we'll be back with the third set here on NK Telco Sports. Here's the thing. If you're the kind of guy who eats, sleeps, and breathes farming, who gets up at dawn, determined to get the best crop and the best yield, why surrender to the mercy of the water table? Cy Schwederman Incorporated can lower your water table to an average of two to three feet below the surface, allowing you to grow stronger, healthier plants that root deeper, that are more resilient to the elements, that enable longer growing seasons, and can produce higher results in the fields and in your pocket. Trust CSI, your drainage experts since 1946. 
At Minster Bank, we understand that life can get hectic. That's why when it comes to your banking, we offer the services that make your life simpler with tools like person-to-person -person payments, pop money, mobile and online banking, and bill pay. But most of all, Minster Bank is a supportive member of your community with personal relationships and customer service that reach outside of our branches. Minster Bank, helping people achieve financial success. At Home and Interiors, our team loves to design beautiful yet cost-effective projects. From sleek and simple to elaborate and detailed, we customize to fit your tastes and budget with free interior design and color coordination. Visit our 5,000 square foot kitchen design center and bring your next project to life. Full custom kitchen and bath cabinets are built right here in New Bremen. Home and Interiors, your vision designed for your budget. As we go to the third set on Grand Lake Health presentation of NK Telco Sports, the Rangers with the 2-0 lead. Yeah, another really close battle, Dave, and Nunasha just got off to a good start and held on, if you will, and had some runs. Marion came back, but Nunasha was able to answer. For the set number two, Rangers 14 kills, Marion Local 12. Um, service aces, New Knoxville two, Marion Local two, termination blocks each team with one. New Knoxville had six errors, five of those attacking errors, and one service error, a total of six. For the Flyers, seven errors. They only had one attack error, so they hit the ball very well in offense. They did have four service errors and a couple misplayed balls or uh, unforced errors, I'll call them, for their total of seven errors. But uh, Blaine Pullman, seven kills. And she was pretty automatic. She even had to miss time slide that she still was able to score off of, basically hitting it from the standing on her feet or after she jumped. But uh, New Knoxville has been playing well. They're getting attacking from numerous, numerous people. Um, Carson Henschen and Morgan Luffel each with five in game number two, and a couple from Avery Henschen and Haley Flutterjohn in that game number two for their total of 14. So um, an elimination game for Coach Chapel's team, but uh, again, volleyball is a funny sport. Um, no one, New Knoxville, can overlook this game and think it's over. Uh, Marion Local's got to play with confidence there. Marion's a good team. You talk about the three losses, quality teams that they've lost to. Leffel with the swing and the point. And just like the other couple sets, they take the early lead. Now it's very early, but both really the first two sets uh, that the last set they led the whole way. The first set it was back and forth a little bit. But it was tied still. Of, in the very first set. It was tied at 1.4 to four. Other than that, New Knoxville has never trailed according to my record keeping. But uh, it means nothing. This volleyball is a funny game. You lose lose the first two and win the next three. But uh, good start for New Knoxville with a 1-0 lead. There's a block back on the flyer side. Kramer will hit it blocked again, but this time it'll fall. But Kramer has recorded a few kills that way. She got one of her two kills in game number two off of block, where it basically did the same thing, just fell in front of a diving ranger in the very front row after New Knoxville had gotten a touch on it. Or Eckstein in to serve. Led by Fletter John. Now back on the flyer side, Pullman. Led by Gable. Henschen, there's Eckstein with the dig. Kramer with the kill. Reagan Kramer with the kill. Well, I mentioned earlier, New Knoxville had not trailed, but uh, that point there by Kramer, her second kill of game three gives Mary Local their first lead of the match. Two to one on our first National Bank scoreboard. First National Bank, think first. Back set to Leffel and another hit from the right side by Leffel. Morgan's been hitting the ball very hard today and being rewarded with another kill that gives her now eight on the night. Again, remember at five and at game two. Kramer blocked. Once again, Kramer, that'll go off the antenna and the lead back to the Rangers. You know, also getting some good touches on some of these flyer attacks and Reagan had been the recipient the last couple times of earning a point off those, but not this time. Pullman with a hit. As you get another look in our winners meets replay. Again, pretty good run, uh, not a very high set. I heard Rethman, I'm sure, have worked on this and they run that offense pretty well. She doesn't need a lot of height. She times it well and records another kill, her 13th of the match. 
Kramer with the serve dug by Henschen. That'll be free ball to cross. Chance for the Flyers. Rathman set Pullman. Dig by Gable over on two by Fletterjohn. Hit by Rathman. Gable back set Fletterjohn and it falls. Not a lot of super power attacking in that volley, Dave, but uh, New Knoxville wins the point as Flutter John, a tough shot kind of going across her body, floating to her left, and, and knowing Pullman was there to defend, able to get it in a spot where she couldn't get it down for a termination block instead of kill for Flutter John. Flutter John, probably the shortest player on the net as that one goes in it. Flutter John, maybe not the shortest one on the floor, but the shortest one who's playing front row for either team. Yeah, literally as an attacker, but she jumps well, so that makes up for quite a bit of the size, if you will, but uh, does a nice job. There's Pullman with a nice hit from the right side. Good job there as Rathman did a nice job setting and she kind of went through on the other side and Pullman had to re-step, so to speak, and did a nice job of hitting that. Well, big for Pullman here to keep the ball in bounds. She's had a couple service errors and that's another one. So as much as good as she's done in the front row, she's had some trouble keeping the ball in bounds. They like to serve aggressive, no doubt, but uh, gives a point and ball right back to the Rangers. Dug by Eckstein. Hit by Bruns. Nice save by Leffel off the rafters, but that will go out of bounds. Oh, nice play by New Knoxville. These low ceilings, though, something New Knoxville's definitely not used to. They play in a nice volleyball gym, high peak in the middle. But here, like St. Henry's gym, low ceilings and really can hurt you when you are receiving hard driven spikes. Your tension is blocked, covered by Leffel, Avery Henshin from the back row, dug by Rethman, bump set by Griesdorn. Frank a little bit off the hand. Nice dig there by Lynn Schwederman. Back set Henshin. Off a couple flyers, the kill by Henshin. Gordon well, Knoxville definitely foot on the throttle that time and a number of opportunities and good defense by the flyers and Again, kind of an off-speed hit. It's actually what kind of throws the defense out of whack. And Carson Henshin records her first kill of game number three. 11 on the night at five in each of game one and two. Waterman with the serve. Good hit by Toby again. She did a nice job of resetting herself. And did a nice job cutting the court. Yep. And uh, really hit it almost parallel to the net, so to speak, in a tough spot because a lot of times defenders don't play that close to the 10-foot line. And she didn't hit, hit it in by much, but got where it needed to be. Dug by Fletter John. There's Leffel. Dug by Schwederman. Kramer. Dig by Waterman. Gable. Leffel. And there'll be a flyer in the net. Well, Leffel gets another kill. And boy, nice play by, I believe it was Melissa Waterman on one of those attacks for defense, not only to get a hand on it, but pass the ball right up to the front. Gable had to move a little bit, but boy, you're splitting hairs on that because you still had room to make a play and Luffel records the kill. Kramer, dug by Fletter John, over on two, didn't make it. So double hit on the Rangers and it's, Flyers will be serving with a chance to tie right here. Right idea, Dave, there with that pass that time, a little bit higher and uh, Gable being in the front row is allowed to attack it as a setter. Not able to get it above the tape though. Henshin from the back row, dug by Rethman, back on the Ranger side. Henshin. Net violation, so. Liar in the net. Avery Henshin records her first kill of game number three, another hard driven attack. That negated a very nice dig in the back row by Griesdorn. Ellie Grease, Ellie Gable. Serving and setting now for the Rangers. Hit by Pullman, not able to be saved. Another kill by Elena Pullman. Waterman did her best to try to keep it alive, but uh, that time Pullman wins the battle and wins the point. Pullman had five kills in game number one, seven in game number two for a total of 12, and had three more here in three for 15 on the night. First team all MAC last year, definitely will be that this year as well. And another kill from the right side by Leffel. Well, home sweet home for number five as she continues to strike the ball well here in game two and three. Five kills in game number one, four here in three, and had one in game one, so double figures for Morgan Leffel. 
That's it over by Rethman on two, back on the flyer side. Pullman puts it away. You know, Knoxville had a chance there, made some plays, and congratulations to the Flyers for picking up the dumps, if you will, and they go back to their, their big hitter, and she's been hitting the ball very well. 10 to nine is Reagan Kramer. Another hard serve goes for an ace. Again, service for the Flyers. They've been doing it very aggressively for Reagan Kramer. That's her third ace of the night. This is doing a very against a very good receiving team in New Knoxville. That one nearly hit the net, but able to climb over. Waterman with a nice hit. A good chance, good job there by the Rangers to get it back. Waterman had a good game one attacking with three kills, was held scoreless, if you will, in game two, but gets a big one there, her fourth of the night. Gives the Ranger a one-point lead again. After what was our first tie of the night, Gable dinks it, and finds a spot. Nice decision, looked like she was going to take a full swing and really did a roll, but really threw the off-speed pitch and uh, dropped it right in front of the back row of the flyer defense. This Ranger team, five juniors, only one senior on the floor, so. Here's an opportunity, every offense likes a free ball. Close to the net, and Waterman finds the spot, hits it left-handed. Well, it's not maybe exactly how you would have designed it, but it works for New Knoxville. Timeout on the floor. So Rangers with the three-point lead. We'll be right back on NK Toko Sports. Grand Lake Foot and Ankle Center offers a family-friendly environment with a personalized approach to reduce pain, restore function, and improve mobility. Dr. Christopher Stuckey specializes in reconstructive foot and ankle surgery, diabetic foot care, trauma including fractures and sports injuries, along with bunions, hammer toes, and ingrown toenails. Grand Lake Foot and Ankle Center has offices located in St. Mary's and Salina. To schedule an appointment, call our office at 419-394-8664. Welcome back to Grand Lake Health's presentation of NK Telco Sports. In game three, Rangers up by three. Well, they have the lead, and Coach Chappell a little upset with this team. I think he's trying to get them fired up there, just some, uh, letting some miscues that shouldn't happen happen, and he's hoping a timeout can break that string and maybe wake his team up as, again, this is an elimination game for them. They've got to pick it up here as the Rangers now go up by four in the uh, hitting error. They're on the Flyers, their third attack here of game number three for the Flyers. Dug there by Griesdorn. Rathman sets Toby. Dug by Gable. Fletter John will set Henschen. Dug by Eckstein. Toby off the blockers. Nice pancake it looked like. But they're going to say it hit the floor. Well, Toby will win the battle. Again, a couple of touches by New Knoxville. Not able to take advantage or score the point. But the Flyers hang in there. And you can't tell from there if it... Uh, so that's a tough call. Pancakes are... Great plays, but they're hard to gauge unless um, you have a great angle. And we're getting word that it did hit the floor in our high definition replay booth. That was Lydia Eifert just checked in the lineup to serve, but a point for the Rangers. Waterman again, I believe, with the with the kill, her third of game number three. And in Knoxville, back to the four-point lead is it's like Flyers have gotten close, they get close, and then Rangers have just got that point to keep it the lead. Toby with the kill. Kinsey Toby. Toby's been playing very good as well as of late. Had three kills in game number one, just one in game two. So she had four coming in, but now three already here in game three. So seven on the night for Toby. Gable back set Henschen. See a point for the Flyers. Again, the Flyers creep within two. Big possession here, big serve for the Flyers. Dug by Leffel. Hit and another kill by Melissa Waterman. Well, another big play for Waterman, who doesn't have a lot of attacks and for kills this season, but another weapon, and maybe Mary Loco is sliding over, thinking it was coming to Carson Henschen, but instead. That sails long. She knew as soon as she hit it, she had too much on it. A rare service mistake for Waterman, who serves at 95% on the season. Kinsey Toby, Flyers within two. If you're the Flyers, this is the time they need to run. If you're the 
Rangers, you just want to keep them at bay. Gable, Henshin, nice dig there by Rethman. Gable to Henshin. Another nice grease door. Be a free ball, so Knoxville third time might be a charm. See what's what they do. Gable this time to left will blocked. Covered by Flutter John. Gable tries to get it over, and a good volley ends up with a flyer point. Nice play by the Maryland local flyer defense. Maybe that's what they needed to do. They withstood a lot of shots by the Rangers. Flyers within one, and another service error. That's just you say another. It seems like their first service error in this game, but uh, they have accumulated some in the earlier games. Henshin with a hard serve. Rathman to Bruns. Nice dig by Fletter John, but free ball to cross. Chance for the Flyers. Rathman. Almost dropped. And that goes out of bounds, so probably not what the Flyers wanted there. They got a little, ran into each other somewhere. That I'm not real sure what Coach Chappell is talking about, but his teammate or his girls ran into each other, and that really threw them out of whack, and they couldn't come through with a good attack, a good hit. Henshin serving with a three-point lead. Rethman, Kramer blocked for the point. So we take another look as a replay lead back to four. A lot of contact there, and I don't think it ever went over as well. Big serve here for the Rangers to get them up by five. Nice save there by Rethman. Henshin on two. Hit over there. And they will call a double hit on the Flyers and a five-point lead for New Knoxville. Another timeout on the floor by Coach Chapel. We'll take one too. You're watching MAC Volleyball on NK Toco Sports. Clope Building Products, America's favorite garage door, is now hiring for all manufacturing and over-the-road CDLA driving positions. Clope is the largest residential garage door manufacturer in North America, and we are continuing to grow. Join our team and work in a safe, clean, modern environment. Clope offers a great benefits package, is an equal opportunity employer, and a drug-free work environment. Imagine the possibilities when you open the door to your career at clopedoor.com slash careers. Welcome back here on NK Toko Sports and the Rangers just five away, five points away from victory in an outright MAC championship. Well, the Flyers don't expect them to roll over yet. Uh, they have a lot of fight in them. They've been in difficult situations and I expect them to put up a fight here. A big play here though, they'd like to get the ball back. Hit by Kramer, dug by Henson. Avery never made it over. And a point to the Flyers. Well, that's what the Flyers needed was a break from the Rangers. They get one on the attack air. They bring Pullman back into the game. That's big for the Flyers. She's into the front row as Lydia Griesdorn with the serve. Leffel from the right side. Nice dig, nice pickup by the Flyers. Hit across by Rethman. Flutter John Gable. Leffel blocked straight down Frank and Pullman. Well, we knew when Pullman came in, that was a plus for them, and she's made her presence known already with a couple touches back, and then the termination block she was part of there. Dug by Henshin. Henshin with the hit. Nice dig there by Toby, and Pullman with a kill. That's five kills here in game number three for Pullman. Coach Lagerman calls the timeout. So I'd like to remind you, you can follow WCSM AM 1350, 96.7 FM, and their internet exclusive games on www.wcsmradio.com all season. Your sports leader in Mercer and All Glaze County as we're in the third set. And there's a timeout there by the Flyers, and they by came the Rangers. out by the yeah, timeout right. there. But before that, Coach Chappell called a timeout. Flyers really responded with three points, and it seems like they have to get their enthusiasm in the game as well. And they've got the enthusiastic plays. They, they call the timeout. Like I said, I didn't expect Mary Local to lay over or lay down. Do not so commits a hitting error, and then a termination block and a kill. Those are big, you know, those are points you earned as a Flyer, so you have the momentum. New Knoxville, per se, didn't make the last two mistakes. So a little bit of confidence right now for the Flyers. Grease down off the top of the net. Over to Leffel, long. 
Four straight points for the Flyers. A well, nice run here from Mary Local. It's four straight. Dug by Waterman. Henshin with this dink and finds a spot. Well, the triple block allowed for an opening. Watch the replay here. Good court recognition to know where the hole was. Triple block and just out of the reach of the libero. Good placement there by Henshin. Served by Gable. Rathman. There's a hit by Flatterjohn for the kill. Great leaping by Flatterjohn for the point. And again, it looked like a lot of blue jerseys up there to block, so somehow Flatterjohn finds the opening through the, the, the massive wall that Mary Local was putting up. Pullman hits it down the blockers, so the Flyers respond. Number Still bound six, by two. Number six with her sixth kill of game number three. She had five in game one, seven in game two, now six, so 12, 18 on the night. And she stays in the front row. Eckstein, there's Flatterjohn with the dig. Henshin, straight off the rafters. Avery Henshin with a kill. A strong attack by Henshin for her third kill. And boy, the short ceiling came into play there. The, it hit the solid part of the beam and straight down. Senior Morgan Leffel with the serve. Rethman, Pullman hits it off the blockers and it falls. Well, it doesn't always have to be pretty or perfect, but it does work. It stops the new Knoxville run and the Flyers, boy, they needed a kill there. And it didn't look good when they ran into each other, but they make the play. It's our good server, Kramer. Close to the net, battled. Ranger in the net. Well, I think Gable is a back row attacker. She can't attack oh. the ball above the net. Another time out on the floor. 23 to 20. It was 20 to 15. Rangers. We've been battling ever since. And as you look at Coach Chapel around his team, they're, they're been, their backs have been against the wall this whole set. And they are battling right to the end here. Just still down by one. Yeah, they've got. Pullman in the front row yet, so that's a blessing. She's been very good attacking and blocking, and they made a nice run here. At one point, it was 20 to 15, so um, a seven to three run here, and again, not much wiggle room left for the Flyers. You need to keep the serve in bounds, put the pressure on New Knoxville with, in this case, I'd say get it in bounds. We got a good blocker in the front row. Let's let our defense try to stop the Ranger offense. Huge point, the Flyers win it, it's 23-23. If the Rangers win it, they'll be serving for the match, so. Huge point here is Reagan Kramer with the serve. Look there by Waterman. Back set to Fletter John, never made it over, and we are tied at 23. Well, she's hit very well out of that spot that time and just under the tape, if you will, and a big break for the Flyers, and still either team's opportunity here, but it needs to get a good, a good first touch for the Rangers on the serve. Kramer. Dug by Waterman. Henshin, the power dink. Toby off the blockers. Gable, it slips through her hands and it's set point for the Flyers. Well, tough break there, a routine play that happens so easily by her all the time. It just slipped through her fingertips. Game point for the Flyers. One of the few leads they've had tonight. Hard serve for the ace and the Flyers come back in the third set. As they win the third set, 25-23 on our first National Bank scoreboard. Both teams are regrouped. And we're we'll back with the set four here on NK Telco Sports. Hey, Minster. This is Nate Henry with NK Telco. And we're here for you for your existing cable TV, internet, and phone service. Hey, Botkins. I'm Brett Gerstner with NK Telco. And we are here for you and to help you operate your business network. Hey Maria Stein, I'm Ken with NK Telco, and we are here for you with Hometown Pride. Hi Arishi, I'm Tim Metzger, and we are here for you for your installation of your telephone, cable TV, and internet. Contact NK Telco at 1-888-NK-TELCO. For over 150 years, Cargill has been helping people be successful worldwide. Cargill has always done business responsibly and in a way that makes us proud. Whether it is educating farmers in India or providing bikes to students with perfect attendance right here at home, Cargill is helping people thrive. 
The Sydney plant is just one piece of a global company that provides employment for hundreds of thousands, food for the world, and support for thousands of businesses. Be a part of something great at Cargill.com. Hometown Opportunity serves Mercer County, Auglaize County, Dark County, and Shelby County. The website as a whole is pretty user friendly. I was able to filter down my options. Um, see what types of jobs were out there for me in the area. It really opened up my eyes to the employer market around here. We know that our local candidates, a lot of times our most successful candidates because they want to come here and stay. It's become the go-to site for anybody looking for a job in the region. Kogi Plumbing and Heating is your Bryant Factory authorized dealer. We have brought the best of comfort, control, and plumbing services to the St. Mary's area for over 60 years. We have been Reader's Choice winners for the last four years running and excel at providing our customers with efficient and reliable heating and air conditioning as well as responsive service when a plumbing emergency arises. We insist that the products we install in our customers' homes and businesses offer the same performance and value that we expect ourselves. Call today for your next plumbing and heating or air conditioning needs. Bryant, whatever it takes. We go to the fourth set as the Flyers with a come from behind win there in the third set to keep this match going. Yeah, they didn't give up. Uh, Coach Chapel had a timeout we witnessed that was kind of, let's say, vocal or maybe a let's wake up and play. And really, since that timeout, well, we said, will that help or hurt? It seems like his team replied and kept the pressure on and made plays. New Knoxville had some mishaps, if you will, along the way. And um, some things that would normally go routine didn't go routine for New Knoxville. And that's how they kind of lost, if you will, that game three. Only the third set all year New Knoxville has lost. The first time they have lost a set in Mac play, which is amazing. Right now they'll have to recover as a block in a point I believe for the Flyers. Was it Kramer and Pullman maybe yep. tag teaming there? Mm -hmm. Momentum now with the blue and gold as that one goes into the net. See what's how New Knoxville kind of returns or, you know, answers. It's, um, you know, it's a one set loss, like I said, but it's not the end of the world. You just have to go back and make yep. the plays. One play at a time is that back on the flyer side. They'll set Kramer, dug by Leffel. Back set, Fletterjohn. A nice hit by Fletterjohn. Had some spin on it or something, and Flyers could not handle it. Well, you look back into game three when New Knoxville had some strong attempts there. You know, the Marion Local picked them up. That was probably one of the easier ones, if you will, to play, and they didn't make a good play on it. Kill for Fletterjohn. Hit in the middle, and Kramer dug by Henschen. Carson Henschen from the back row, nice dig. Avery Henschen with a hit. Griesdorn bump set. Never went. Kramer, wow, must have been a block on that one. That, that one, one did go. not make it in. Now a three to one lead for the Rangers. Well, momentum play here, but again, Marion, we've seen them come back, so nice pickup, won't, won't be able to make a play. Sometimes those uh, pinball plays, I call it, can help, you know, you get a break like that, uh, but not the case there. Luffel will record the service ace. Four to one Rangers make it five to one on the ace by Leffel. Leffel in the season, 46 service aces, make that 47 and 48. 93% server, very good server. There's Pullman through the blockers. Elena Pullman with the kill. New Knoxville able to get again some touch on the ball, but it falls right in that open spot where we've seen a number of, number of let's say, touched attacks fall right there. Pullman, though, that now gives her 20 kills on the night. Henson. X time with a nice save, and Beautiful. the Flyers survived that. In the middle, Henshin blocked. Gable will go to Carson in the back row. Doug by Griesdorn. Pullman with the kill. Well, the Flyers relentless on defense. They get a touch on a number of New Knoxville attacks and then finish with their big hitter, Elena Pullman, her second kill of game four. Freshman Nora Eckstein with the serve. Henshin is blocked, recovered, and they will call a two hit there on Gable as she went over on the second one. 
a rare mistake. Again, New Knoxville doesn't have many ball handling mistakes all year, so it's a rare event right there. Henshin off the blockers for the point. And New Knoxville battles and retains the lead as you get another look. Again, going with a little bit of power, and this time across the body and just off the blocker's hands. Replays courtesy of Winners Meets. And a slam again Preston by Pullman. Got a running start of that, and again, with a good first touch, they can get into their offense, and she had a, a wind-up, if you will. That started about the top of the key, it looked like, and finished over by the up judge. There's Kramer with her hard serve. Nice save by Flutter John to keep it alive. There's Rathman. This time to Toby. Nice dig there by Leffel. Nice dig by Griesdorn. Over on two with Rathman. Carson. Got him the Three close ball fist. across. Whoa. Hanson for the point. Again, both teams relentless tonight. Uh, some good, good plays on both ends of the court, and then Power wins it just down the line, but Mary Local made some nice pickups, legal plays with a closed fist. You can kind of punch it then without getting called for the lift. Letter John with the serve. Hit over, but it goes out of bounds. Eight to five. Seems like the intensity is kind of picked up from that end of the last one to right into oh, yeah, this definitely. set. Definitely, it's um, a little bit more energy in the atmosphere. Toby with a swing off the blockers for the point. Flyers have won two in a row. They have had wins over Fairlawn and Parkway since they lost last Thursday to New Bremen. They started out the season one 11 in a row and there is an ace by Pullman. Flyers won 11 in a row. They lost to number one OG and then they lost at Fort Recovery in three. Won five in a row before they lost to New Bremen and then won two in a row. Very good season for the Flyers and there's another ace by Pullman. Back to back service aces for Pullman. She's had some trouble earlier in this match, but coming up big here with three kills and also now two service aces. We are tied eight to eight on our first National Bank school board. There's Henshin off the blockers for the point. Haven't had many, let's say, swings from the outside, but that time able to get good timing and a good swing on it for her, for the kill to give the Rangers a one point lead. And for Henshin now that is 10, 11, 12, 13 on the match, 13 kills. Melissa Waterman with the serve, free ball to cross. Waterman, Gable, Henshin on the wraparound for the point. You see Marion Local run it pretty effectively with Pullman this time. New Knoxville able to utilize Carson Henshin in the slide and she's able to convert back-to-back -back kills and back to two-point Ranger lead here in game four. 10 to eight on our first National Bank scoreboard with the ace, Waterman. Like she's done a few times in the match. She takes something off of it and it just drops. It's her second ace of the match and again, very good server and almost 95% accuracy and gets a couple aces here and there as well. Bruns. There's Leffel. Nice save by Eckstein. Nice pickup. Toby hit back by Leffel. Bruns overpass again. And Toby finishes it. Toby He's living with, with danger on this. Yeah, it was a, a lot of reaching and touching there and good play, but the overpass, and I believe it was Toby, as you said, with the big the big kill, if you will, gets her team back to within two. Frank into the front row. Join Bruns and Toby. Henson had a nice run in the front row there as Carson goes back to serve for the Rangers with a three-point lead. Four kills in game number four, and a few of them here just recently. Only one kill in game number three, but on the night now, 15. That will sail just long. Good talk by the back row as we could hear from up here. They were getting ready to make the play, and uh, they yelled out, 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 and good call. Sometimes it's easier to judge if it's in or out from back here on the side is you always got to remember the players are seeing it. The ball is moving up yep. and down and left and right. That ball moves as these hard serves come. Carson from the back row. Good pickup by Toby. Kramer across. There's Leffel through the blockers. By Morgan Leffel. Morgan Level having a solid game attacking the ball. 11 on the night for 
Like you said, the lone senior that's able to play, Gretchen Dwanger, the other senior with a leg injury. He's hurt in the third, or the seventh set, seventh match of the season against Audible. Hit by Leffel, finds a spot. Well, we've said it a few times, off-speed stuff, if you will, just like a baseball pitcher, off-speed. Leffel really took a lot off that and able to drop it in front of the defender in the back row. Four-point lead for the Rangers. They lead the match two sets to one. Rethman to Kramer, down the blockers. Breaking Kramer, seems like she's gotten stronger as the match has gone on. She's been hitting well. Now, she's been the beneficiary of 11, but her kills have come like right there, right off a of Ranger block. That time the block went straight down, the ball did. A couple other times it drifted over to the left for an open space, but she's been scoring. Avery Henson returns the favor as it goes down the blockers. Morgan Leffel back to serve. Nine kills in the match for Avery Henschen. Off the top of the net. Yeah, second, second, second service error. Dave you haven't seen the, the Rangers set. all year. They have played with six, at least about the last two thirds of this season. So no break for anybody for the Rangers. This is only their second match as they've played a fourth set. There's Flutter John at his block back. She recovers to Henschen, flat-footed, dug by Griesdorn. Kramer tried to hit it over and it goes into the net. Well, the Rangers on that attack by Henschen, she won't get the credit for the kill, but hit it in a bad spot. They forced it to make a play and the setter had to run. When you get the setter running, usually bad things happen and uh, they couldn't get a good swing on it. Wrap around that one, the timing a little bit off. That sails long in a five-point lead for the Rangers. We see what's how long Coach Chapel let this go. The last time he did call timeout, and it seemed to work to get this team refocused. Pullman, block, Gable, set by Fletter John Henschen with the hit. Kramer off the blocker, <laughs> Reagan Kramer. I, another time that. She's had a number of kills here, six of them in the past three games, but it seems like a number of them have been off of a Ranger touch. Yeah. Now they all count, no doubt, give her credit, but uh, they've all been kind of like that, touched at the net and dropped down on the Ranger side. She comes back with a hard serve, tension from the back row, sails long. This is the lineup the Flyers have scored, seems like a fair bit of their points with Kramer serving, you still have Pullman on the right side of the front row. Right now the Flyers down by three, and that one goes into the net. As Kramer will be replaced by Lynn Schwederman, who's done a great job in the back row for the Flyers, but it'll be Haley Flutterjohn serving for the Rangers. 18 to 14 on our first National Bank scoreboard. First National Bank, think first. Toby with a hit in the point. Good rhythm offense by the Flyers, and that is so critical. And Toby, good timing. Now that gives her 10 kills in the match as well for the 5'9 senior. Pullman with the serve into the net. She'll go out in favor of the libero, Riesdorn. It's Melissa Waterman in to serve. Rathman, Bruns, dug by Waterman. Henschen, Carson Henschen with the kill. Nice set by Gable and a good swing by Carson Henschen for a fifth kill. Just took a little bit off of it and hit it right in the back, the back void, if you will, there, the flyer defense. Timeout on the floor. We'll be right back. You're watching MAC Volleyball on NK Toco Sports. Our bankers are working hard day and night to provide the support needed right now, even while we're apart. We're proudly working together with you and for you. We believe there's more, much more to all of us than these tough times. We see acts of compassion and cooperation all around our communities, and we're proud to be a part of it. And as our family of banks come together under our Park National Bank name, we promise you we're all in this together. Coach Chappell with a timeout as you see Melissa Waterman waiting for the serve with a five-point lead. Well, Coach Chappell and his timeouts have seemed to work, especially in the last game. They need a stop here. They are down by five with just five to go. New Knoxville playing pretty crisp volleyball here in set number four and picking stuff up as it happens. Great save by Sledders on there, the hard hit by Bruins. There's Toby. This time it's Waterman with the dig. 
Henson from the back row, dug by Schroederman. Oh, and they call it, it's alive, and that will go in. Point for the Rangers. An awkward volley there towards the end. I don't know what all happened, but it's a tough play, and the end result is after that, the Flyers make the attack error. 21-15, a bleeder of a ref been able to get it. They set Brunts, and Brunts did a nice job of finding a spot. Well, they got, they made a great play, Dave, on the serve that climbed across the net, made a great pick up. A lot of times those drop, so inches away from there, but a good play by Bruns to get just her fourth kill of the night, but a, a big one there. Nobody picks up the second one, so an ace for Rethman. Her first ace of the night. Again, everything's big now is good timing for that. Dug by Fletter John. Well said, Henschen. Bump set over to Frank, blocked back, and now hit on the Rangers side. Henschen. Kept alive. Uh, kept alive, but a point for the Rangers. Henschen records her sixth kill, but boy, that one took a bit, if you will, to get to the ground. The Flyers continue to, if you will, cover the court. Time out on the floor. We'll keep it right here. We'd like to mention our sponsors making this telecast possible. Clopay Building Products, Precision Strip, Carriage Works, Sy Schroederman Incorporated, Minster Bank, Home and Interiors, New Knoxville Supply, Cargill, Victory Machine, Hometown Opportunity, Kogi Plumbing and Heating, Wagner's IGA, Securecom, St. Henry Bank, Park National Bank, Kinniger Custom Fabrication, Superior Aluminum, The Rushi Inn, Busher's Market, Finishing Touches, Francis Manufacturing, Hoing Service Center, Rachel's Cakes, Speedway Lanes, Boimer Construction, Jewelry Barn, Tallman Jerry's in Western Ohio, Mortgage, and on our first National Bank scoreboard, the Rangers with a five-point lead. Well, the Flyers out of timeouts now, and it's the old 5-2 scoring system, up five with, or, I'm sorry, 5-3 scoring system. You're up five or three to go, and you're trying to keep track of the math in your head, New Knoxville. Let's make sure they don't let up here. Stay on the gas. Hit by Toby. Doug by Flutter John. Not able to hit the second one over. And the thing when you're playing is it's one of those you don't want to watch the scoreboard. You just play. Yep. You get just the next point, go from there. It's easier said than done sometimes with a lot of at stake in this match. There's a hit by Leffel yeah. just inside the line. They just caught the tape or the line, if you will. Big swing by the senior. That might have hit the backside of that line. Right on definitely it. in, right on the chalk would have flown. 23-18, Gable with the serve. Dug by Toby. Hit That's by Bruins on the line. Back to back, what do you want to say, end line shots and Bruns returns the favor of their second kill of game number four. And again, inches away from being out for both the last kills, but uh, the Flyers get a big point and that's what they need to try to climb back into this. Lily Griesdorm with the serve and an ace. That ball had some movement and the Flyers at 20, but still down by three. Timeout on the floor. We will keep it right here as Another good MAC battle. First set was won by New Knoxville, 25-8, 25-19. They won the second one, 25-21. Flyers came back late, won 25-23. And you see Coach Meg Reinecke Lagerman. She took over for her sister, who coached three years. Very successful. Right now, she's trying to bring the Rangers home for victory here. Yeah, it's um, still a tall task at hand. As again, the Flyers have been relentless. They bring Pullman back into the front row. So there's another weapon as she's came in when um, Griesdorn went to serve. So they, the Flyers looking for a big play here. They've got some momentum, if you will, but uh, can't make any mistakes. There's just two points away for a Ranger victory. Henson with the dig. Gable to Avery for the point and match point. Coming up for the Rangers is the Ranger faithful on their feet as the senior Morgan Leffel trying to serve for the victory. Rathman to Pullman blocked. They got and it. it falls. Undefeated. The undefeated. 
New Knoxville Rangers, 19-0 on the season, the outright MAC champion. As you see a very happy New Knoxville Rangers, and why not? What an accomplishment to go through the, se the max season undefeated, let alone the whole season undefeated as the Ranger faithful chant MAC. Congratulations to this Ranger squad. Yeah, I, um, you quit trying to analyze things. You just sit back and you just have to watch it at uh, most points. As I think they're uh, announcing the outright league championship to the new Knoxville Rangers. Congratulations so, uh, to Knoxville Rangers. Don Kemper there. The commissioner, Don Kemper, has the trophy. The senior Morgan Leffel around her teammates thrust it skyward. What a performance. Uh, Mary Local did not give up. They made the Rangers work for it. And again, these are, look at the scores there. You're, again, I've used the word splitting hairs and uh, it's hard to say that the Flyers lost. They just didn't win. And uh, congratulations to the Rangers. It's um, again, hard to imagine, but well done. Congratulations, girls. The New Knoxville Rangers Undefeated regular season, first time in school history. Undefeated in the MAC, first outright, first time in school history. They extend their record of longest winning streak in school history at 18 straight winner. I'm sorry, 19 straight wins. As they'll take the pictures and congratulations. This has been a special season for the Rangers. As they take a. They'll take the pictures, we'll take a quick break, and we'll be back to wrap it up here on NK Toco Sports. Kemmler Orthopedic Center is focused on a personalized, caring approach to treat all aspects of orthopedics, including total joint replacement, shoulder reconstruction, stem cell injections, and more. Dr. James Kemmler and Jed Cooney, certified PA, are dedicated to providing the best orthopedic care in the Grand Lake region. Kemmler Orthopedic Center has offices located in Salina and Van Wert, along with extended evening hours. To schedule an appointment, call our office at 419-586-5760. Clope Building Products, America's favorite garage door, is now hiring for all manufacturing and over-the-road CDLA driving positions. Clope is the largest residential garage door manufacturer in North America, and we are continuing to grow. Join our team and work in a safe, clean, modern environment. Clope offers a great benefits package, is an equal opportunity employer, and a drug-free work environment. Imagine the possibilities when you open the door to your career at clopedoor.com slash careers. At First National Bank, we are working hard to make your life a little easier. With products like Card Valet, an app allowing you to control your cards with real-time notifications, transaction restrictions, and spending limits. The ability to access your money through 55,000 all-point ATMs across the country, surcharge free. Live customer support when you need it. And online and mobile banking, allowing you to gain access to your financial information wherever and whenever you like. First National Bank, making your life a little easier. Hi, I'm Mallory. My grandpa's been making the world's worst pizza for 30 years. That doesn't look like the world's worst pizza. Grandpa, I know why they call you Chunky Bob. It's because you use chunky ingredients on your pizza. Of course, it's not because I'm fat. Grandpa, this is the world's best pizza. Keyhole Pizza, come check Grandpa out. Dine in or carry out. All Glaze and Sydney Audiology are committed to providing the most advanced and affordable hearing care solutions. Did you know that more and more insurances are offering coverage for hearing needs and that we are the most comprehensive provider in the area? Because we want to serve all in our community, we partner with agencies such as Medicaid, OOD, Sertoma, and most recently the VA, helping our veterans find local solutions to their problems. Don't leave unused benefits on the table this year. Call us today to see if you qualify. Hello, New Bremen. I'm Matt Everidge with NK Telco, and we're here for you for your cable, telephone, and internet services. Hey, Minster. This is Nate Henry with NK Telco, and we're here for you for your existing cable TV, internet, and phone service. Hey, New Knoxville. I am Wesley Meyer at NK Telco. We are here for you and your customer service needs. Hey, Maria Stein. I'm Ken with NK Telco, and we are here for you with hometown pride.
Together, we are family, working safely for our loved ones. We are problem solvers who challenge the status quo and drive improvement. We care about our customer relationships. We stay true to our values, caring and respecting one another. We embrace change as we journey through our career. We are Precision Strip, the world's leading processor of rolled steel and aluminum. Precision Strip, doing the exceptional. Knoxville Rent, then the Knoxville Rangers. You see the hens, hench and girls there. Carson holding the MAC trophy as they clinch the MAC outright and an undefeated season. 19 and overall, first outright and first undefeated season for the yeah. Rangers. What a year. Uh, uh, can't even explain. As you see, there's a number of family pictures going on down there, so we'll get some more of them as well. A lot of happy Ranger fans and well deserved. And to go undefeated, not only your conference, but the, the teams you play outside of your conference. You know, granted, you can't play 21 or 19 games of all number one ranked teams in the state, but there's a large amount of their competition that's ranked and uh, um, count eight, of them. eight of them. So, I mean, it's not like, you know, it's just to do that year in or a game in, game out and maintain the intensity is uh, quite an accomplishment. Uh, you know, here it is. You take a breath, you enjoy it. It's a regular season undefeated. Great. Second season starts Thursday and uh, have to reload and, and battle back. Well, the teams they've won, they they have beaten number one, New Bremen. They beat Fort Recovery, Fort Laramie, New, number nine, Lincoln View, number 10, Rushi, number 11, uh, 11, Rushi, number 10, St. Henry, number 20, Jackson Center. And tonight, the last one, number five, Marion Local. That's a gauntlet. They beat is. four of those ranked ones in the last week. I'm just worried about not getting burned out. How do you keep that energy and that momentum? But uh, a job well done. And we'll recap our stats here. We'll do our normal cab report, if you will. Kills, New Knoxville wins the battle 54 to 47. Aces belong to the Flyers, 11 to 8. Termination blocks. Uh, the New Knoxville gets their last one or fifth one, maybe the biggest one of the season. They win the blocking battle, uh, 5 to 3 against a very good Marion local team. For the Flyers, Elena Pullman, 22 kills on the night, 10 kills from Kinsey Toby, 5 from Abby Bruns. Hold on. And uh, we have to take a quick picture break here. Yeah. Jeff is getting an opportunity with his girls taking a picture here right now. And uh, okay. family Good moment. job, girls. Good job, girls. Awesome. Nicole Frank with uh, four kills. And Reagan Kramer with six kills on the night for the Flyers. So they end the season with a 47 kills or at the game time with 47 kills. For New Knoxville, Carson Henschen led the way with Rangers with 17 kills. Avery Henschen with 10. Morgan Leffel with 13. Melissa Waterman, super job by Melissa Waterman, seven kills. Haley Flutterjohn, another stellar performance, attacking with six kills. And Ellie Gable had a kill for the total of 54 for New Knoxville. Serving for New Knoxville. Morgan Leffel, two aces. Melissa Waterman, two aces. Haley Flutterjohn, a service ace. Ellie Gable, two service aces. For Marion Local, Pullman with three aces and Reagan Kramer with four service aces, and Heidi Rethman had an ace, and so did Lydia uh, Griesdorn. Blocking, again, New Knoxville, maybe not their strong suit, but they win the battle tonight, five to three, like I said. Carson Henschen was part of four blocks. Avery Henschen was a part of one. Melissa Waterman was part of one, and Haley Flutterjohn was part of three of them. Good job by her blocking. For the Flyers, Pullman with three, and Frank with two. There are your numbers for tonight's four set match. Marion Local Caps also off a very successful regular season. They finish 18 and four overall, six and three in the MAC. But the story tonight, the New Knoxville Rangers undefeated, eight and 0, 19 and 0 in the regular season. Congratulations to the New Knoxville Rangers. What a year and we'll cap it off talking about our player of the game, senior Morgan Leffel. Well, Morgan came up and played a heck of a ball game tonight. Continues to hit hard and hit it in various spots of the court. We mentioned a number of times in his front right, but she finished his game with 13 kills overall. A couple service aces, defensively picked up attacks and such, and uh, just played a great game. And uh, congratulations to Senior. She's been the ringleader since uh, Gretchen went down, and Gretchen's the biggest cheerleader they have, if you will, on the bench. But uh, tonight, Morgan Level does it on the court. Congratulations to Morgan Level, our player of the game. Congratulations to Morgan. Congratulations to the Rangers. There'll be joy in the little city of New Knoxville tonight as they cap off an undefeated season, 19-0. Congratulations to all the Rangers. 
For our NK Telco crew, Bryce Hamrick on camera, our director, Scott Robinson. For my partner, Jeff Hench, and I'm Dave Kanapke. Thanks for watching, and congratulations, Rangers. Here from NK Telco Sports.